They all laughed when she married a short black man. Years later, they regretted it. Kofi was born in a small village of Guinea with a rare genetic disorder called progeria. He looked like a man in his 70s, but he was only in his 20s. Despite his appearance, Kofi was a kind-hearted person who loved music. One day, Kofi met a young woman named Amma. She was beautiful and kind, and Kofi was immediately drawn to her. Amma didn't care about Kofi's appearance. She saw the beauty in his soul and fell in love with him. Kofi and Amma got married in a small ceremony in the village, but the villagers were not happy about it. They didn't understand why a beautiful woman like Amma would want to marry a man who looks like her grandfather. They laughed and made fun of her. One day, Kofi and Amma were walking in the village when they heard people laughing and making fun of them. Amma was hurt by their comments, but Kofi remained positive. Don't let them get to you, my love, Kofi said. They don't understand what true love is. I know, but it still hurts, Amma replied. Kofi took Amma's hand and kissed it. I love you, Amma. That's all that matters. Amma smiled and kissed Kofi on his cheek. I love you too, Kofi, and I don't care what anyone else says. Kofi and Amma moved to the city, where Kofi pursued his dream of becoming a singer. He wrote songs and performed at small events. Amma supported him every step of the way. One day, a music producer heard Kofi sing and was impressed by his talent. He offered Kofi a record deal, and Kofi's career took off. He became a millionaire and a famous singer, with his songs topping the charts. The villagers who had once laughed at Amma for marrying Kofi were now buying his records and singing his songs. They realized their mistake and regretted how they had treated Kofi and Amma. One day, Kofi and Amma returned to the village for a visit. The villagers were ashamed of how they had treated them and apologized. We're sorry, Kofi and Amma, one of the villagers said. We didn't understand what true love was. We were wrong to make fun of you. Kofi smiled and forgave them, saying, It's okay. We understand. We just want to move forward and spread love and positivity. The villagers were surprised by Kofi's kindness and humility. They had never seen someone so forgiving. You truly are an inspiration, Kofi, another villager said. We were wrong to judge you based on your appearance. You have accomplished so much and made us proud. Kofi and Amma left the village knowing that they had made a difference. They continued to visit the village and help the people there. They built a school and a hospital, and Kofi even wrote a song about the beauty of Guinea and its people. One day, Kofi and Amma were sitting on the porch of their house looking out at the sunset. I'm so proud of you, Kofi, Amma said. You've accomplished so much. It's all because of you, Amma, Kofi replied. You believed in me when no one else did. You saw the beauty in my soul. That's because you have a beautiful soul, Kofi, and I love you for it. I love you too, Amma, and I always will. Kofi and Amma hugged each other, knowing that they had found true love. The laughter and ridicule of the villagers were now a distant memory. Kofi's legacy would live on, not just through his music, but also through his kind-heartedness and his message of love and acceptance. Years passed, and Kofi's music continued to touch the hearts of people all around the world. He became an icon not just for people with rare genetic disorders like progeria, but for all those who had been judged and discriminated against based on their appearance or circumstances. One day, Kofi was performing at a charity concert to raise funds for children with progeria. A little boy came up to him and said, Thank you for showing me that I can still accomplish great things, even with this condition. Kofi smiled and hugged the boy. You can accomplish anything you set your mind to, my friend. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Kofi's story had touched the lives of so many people, inspiring them to embrace their differences and to follow their dreams, no matter how impossible they may seem. His message of love and acceptance had become a beacon of hope for millions around the world. Amma watched from the audience, proud of her husband's accomplishments and his unwavering spirit. She knew that their love had conquered all the obstacles that life had thrown their way, and that they had shown the world what true love and acceptance looked like. As Kofi sang his final song, the audience erupted into applause. They knew that they had witnessed something truly special and had been touched by the magic of Kofi's music and his message. Kofi smiled and bowed, humbled by the love and support he had received from the crowd. He knew that his journey had been a difficult one, 
but he was grateful for every moment of it. Without his appearance, he might never have become the man he was today, nor would he have found his true love in Emma. As he walked off the stage, Kofi felt a sense of peace and fulfillment. He knew that his legacy would live on, and that his story would continue to inspire generations to come. Emma was waiting for him backstage, a proud smile on her face. You did it, my love. You touched so many lives with your music and your message. It's all because of you, Emma, Kofi replied, taking her hand in his. You gave me the strength and courage to keep going, even when things were tough. I love you, Kofi, Emma said, tears welling up in her eyes. I always will. Kofi pulled Emma into a tight embrace, feeling the warmth of her love and support. They had come a long way since the days when people had laughed at them for being together, but they had proved them all wrong. As they walked out of the concert hall, hand in hand, Kofi knew that he had found his true purpose in life. He had used his appearance and his music to spread a message of love and acceptance, and he had touched the hearts of millions around the world. The laughter and ridicule of the villagers in Guinea were now just a distant memory. Kofi and Amma had shown the world the true beauty that lies not in appearance but in the depths of one's soul. They had shown that love knows no bounds and that it can conquer even the most difficult obstacles. As they looked up at the stars above, Kofi and Amma knew that their love would continue to shine on long after they were gone, for they had left behind a legacy of hope and inspiration, a legacy that would live on forever. The following day, Kofi received a call from the Guinness World Records. They wanted to feature him as the world's oldest living person with progeria. Kofi was over the moon. This was an opportunity to raise even more awareness for the condition and inspire more people. The interview with the Guinness team was a major success. Kofi was a natural in front of the camera, and his story touched the hearts of everyone who watched it. He talked about his childhood, his struggles, his love for music, and his message of love and acceptance. He hoped that his story would inspire others to follow their dreams no matter how impossible they may seem. The interview went viral on social media. People from all over the world shared Kofi's story, and he became a sensation overnight. His music was played on the radio, and his message was heard loud and clear. People who had once laughed at him were now singing his praises. Kofi's fame brought him many opportunities. He was invited to perform at major events, including the Olympics and the United Nations. He was also invited to speak at conferences and rallies around the world, where he shared his message of love and acceptance. Kofi and Amma traveled the world together, spreading their message of love and acceptance. They met people from all walks of life, and their love inspired many. They knew that they had a purpose, and that was to show the world that love is the most powerful force in the universe. Years passed, and Kofi's fame only grew. He continued to perform and spread his message of love and acceptance, even as his health began to decline. He knew that he didn't have much time left, but he was at peace with that. He had accomplished everything he had set out to do. On Kofi's 80th birthday, his family and friends threw him a big party. They celebrated his life and his accomplishments, and they thanked him for being an inspiration to them all. Kofi was overwhelmed with emotion. He had never felt so loved and appreciated. As the night went on, Kofi grew tired. He knew that it was time to say goodbye. He pulled Amma close and whispered in her ear, Thank you for loving me, Amma. You've been my rock, my everything. I love you more than words can say. Amma's eyes welled up with tears. I love you too, Kofi. You will always be in my heart. Kofi closed his eyes and took his final breath. He was at peace knowing that he had left behind a legacy of love and acceptance. He had shown the world that love knows no bounds and that it can conquer even the most difficult of obstacles. The news of Kofi's passing spread quickly. People from all over the world paid tribute to him, sharing their favorite memories of his music and his message. The world had lost a true icon, but his legacy would live on. Emma took comfort in the fact that Kofi's music and message would continue to inspire future generations. She knew that he was watching over her and that he was at peace, knowing that his message of love and acceptance would live on. In the years that followed, Kofi's story continued to inspire people around the world. His music was played on the radio, and his message of love and acceptance was shared on social media. People who had once judged him for his appearance were now singing his praises. Kofi's story had shown the world that true beauty lies not in appearance, but in the depth of one's soul. 
It had shown that love knows no bounds and that it can conquer even the most difficult of obstacles. Kofi's legacy would live on, not just through his music, but also through his kind personality.